Crime scene. Crime scene. All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Today I'm gonna review Ransom, Crime Scene. Yes! Before I get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up if you wanna, you know, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down. If you don't like the video, it's up to you. Well, you know, and let me take this thing from off my neck. All right, man. Before I get into that, you know, I've been going for a little bit, but I'm back. Hair has came down, so now y'all gonna take this journey with me. Like I said, my hair is growing. It was short before, but look at it now. It's starting to get past my ears. Before you know it, it's gonna be down here, down here, and I'm be putting it up. You know. All right. So, ransom. Crime scene. All right, man. So let's put things into perspective. Ransom has dropped five projects this year. Five. Five. Director's Cut 1, Director's Cut 2, Director's Cut 3, Deleted Scene, Crime Scene. Five. This is gonna sound so crazy, man. Cause see, this is a beyond. This is gone. Ransom has gone beyond reviews to me. And what I mean by that is, if he's gonna keep putting out good projects like this, there's no point of reviewing it. It's like, what do you do in this situation? Because people look at you like you're biased when you say someone has damn near a perfect catalog when it comes to this right here. And it's so sad because people look for reasons to say that this person isn't good or this person ain't all that. They just look for reasons to say that. Even if the music is great, everybody has this notion where they can't just say, oh, listen, all his music is great. It can't be. It has to be. Well, he has a flaw in there somewhere. I have to look for something because he can't have all great music. And that's how I feel about how people feel about Ransom. See, right now, Ransom is the best artist, rap artist in the game. There's no artist better than Ransom right now. Hands down, he's the best rap rapper in the game right now. Let's just be, be clear. The only two people I think that compete with Ransom lyrically is Royce and Black Thought right now. That's active. They're the only two. Outside of that, there's no one coming close to him when it comes to lyrics. I mean, you could say whoever you want. But lyrically, he's right now untouchable. That's just, let's just be, be clear. Now and again, I want to get into something that I read online because I have, I have to say this during this review because I don't want to make a separate video for it. But... Someone compared Ransom to Griselda and more to Benny the Butcher. And I say, don't get me wrong, I'm, I like Griselda. I might be a little bit hard on them because I think that they can go a little harder sometimes. And not harder, I'm not mean as harder as in streetwise, but harder as in more content. And that's why I like Benny's new album so much because he tried something a little bit more different. He, he dumbed it down, but at the same time, he broadened his horizons, if you know what I mean. But the comparison to them, to him, is it's not a good comparison to me. See, they're street rappers, and they rap street. Ransom is a street rapper who's much more than a street rapper. <laughs> he literally can rap. He can rap on a level of Nas, on a level of J, on a level of, of, a, of a pun. He can rap on that level. What I mean is, arguably, he can be rapping on that level. I don't think Griselda can rap on that level. 
That's the, the difference. Even if you go towards older lyricists, like if you say, he can rap on that level of a cannabis. He can rap on that level of a Razzcaz, a killer priest. He can rap on that level. These dudes can't rap on that level. Now that doesn't mean that they can't ever get there or they not fire because they're firing their own right. But to compare them to him, no, no, no. He's a different type of rapper. So that comparison is dead. That's number one. They might talk about similar things with their street, but he's more of a street poet rapper than they're more of just street rappers, if that makes sense. So, that, that right there to me is out of, out of the question. And a lot of times I think a lot of people, they just want to use that against Ransom. And that's just, just how I feel. I'm not saying I read that or heard that, but sometimes I feel like a lot of people want to use, oh, uh, well, Benny's better than him, or Benny's this, against Ransom. And it's like, oh, he's trying to be like Benny, not knowing that he's been out way, for, way longer than Benny. And again, it's not nothing against Benny. It's just <laughs> what people were saying. So I'm just providing what it said. But that, well, that, well, that, that out the way, whatever. I think that Crime Scene, to me, is another one of these albums that Ransom has put his foot in and said, I'm not going to let up. And if he keeps going the way he's going, I'm telling you, man, <laughs> the only thing is Ransom is not signed to a major label. I can imagine if he was signed with these projects to a major label, which is probably going to happen because it only happened to me. And I'm sure I'm sure by now someone has offered him something because he's too good. Someone has offered him something, whether it's offered him to be a writer or whether it's offered him to, to perform. But right now, no, nobody, he's smoking everything. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. He's not perfect, but he's 99% right now. He's smoking everybody and everything. And at one point there was other artists doing that. But to me, I guess with Ransom with his raps, and I'll get into the review right now. Starting with the lyrics, I said this before, Ransom lyrics is kind of like, it's a story within a story. And sometimes he says things that mean so much more than just one thing. It's not just a punchline, it's an experience. It's like, it's like you know, people throwing punches and they hitting you with these lines. He's hitting you with experiences. And it's like, that punch felt like you learned a lot from that one punch. Some of these other rappers, I don't really get that from me. They, they say things and it's just, that's what it is. But with him, it's a little more. So his lyrics were top notch on this. Now, do I believe that it should have been longer? Yes, it could have been longer, but it don't matter whether it's long or short. Is it good? That's the, the point I'm trying to make. Because if you can keep pumping out stuff that's good, it don't matter if it's long or short. And I see people complaining about, oh, it's too short. Then when someone do something, oh, it's too long. It's like, what do you want? You want great music? How you want it? Or you just want to just complain? So I feel like with this album, it was long enough. It was long enough. But it was great. And the lyrics were great. Hands down, probably the high point of the album. Probably the high point of the album. I should say. And let's get into the production. Now see the production to me is another one of those gifts that I think that Ransom, Ransom and Craven are like this to me. They're like a hand in glove. Perfect combination. This sound that Ransom has, and I'm sure that it's been used before, but it hasn't, to me, it hasn't been used like this. And you got a lot of people who rap over samples. But I think that Ransom should stay with doing this. Because this is his lane right now completely. Completely his lane. There's some other artists doing it, but not at this, not at this level. 
This is his lane. He should just stay in this lane and keep and keep riding it out. Ride it out. Don't change up. Don't do nothing else. You, we, we heard some of your old stuff and you've been doing different things. But this is where you're going to become legendary. To me, you're a legend already. That's just to me. But right now, you're about to become legendary. It took so, and, and it's so crazy how it took so long for people to start recognizing Ransom as a great artist. You know what I'm saying? And now that he got his moment, he's older, he's more mature, you can hear it. So the production is just up there. It's almost a tie. Well, it is a tie with me with the lyrics. Both are high points of the album. Sound quality, and it's going to sound kind of weird. I know that he said that Parks did the whole thing, and Parks is pretty good. I like the first album, the director's cut one, I like that sound quality better than all of them now it's not taking away from the sound quality i think that the sound quality is still good but for me when i put it in my car that sound quality of the first i guess maybe because of the how it came on and that and the way the beat came on i think that's probably what hits me so it's probably more of my my bias i guess on it but it's nothing wrong with the sound quality on this album sound quality is great so you know but Given all that, I, I give this album a strong 9. And it's going to push up to a 10. Because I can't deny, and I can't be one of those people who are just harder, who are just harder on him because I, because I like him or because I like Ransom. No, it's great music, period. That's it. So when people say, oh, well, you just like him more. No, it's just great music. It's great. What do you want me to say? Do you want me to say, oh, well, no, nah, I got to, you know, I got to be a little harder on him now because no, the music is great. I listen to it all the time. I listen to the first album, second album, third album. I listen to the uh, deleted scenes and I listen to crime scenes. And on top of that, I listen to all his music that he was featured on this year. Hands down, Ransom is the best rapper of 2020. There's no rapper better than Ransom of 2020. Whether you're big or small, it don't matter. Of 2020, he has done, to me, he has done the most work that is the best work. There are some artists that have good albums, but let's say, for, I'll give you an example. Let's say Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs has Alfredo. Great album. Great album. I gave that album a nine, strong nine. Pushing up to a 10. That's a great album. But Freddie Gibbs don't have three of those. Ransom has three of those. He has three great albums. If you want to say he has five, you can say five. If you want to say he has four, you can say four. Even if you say he has two, he still has more than Allegory. And Allegory is another great album to me. He still has more than Allegory. So this is why those three albums, to me, were those two artists, I should say, Royce and Freddie Gibbs, had the two best albums outside of Ransom this year. Those are the only albums that I listen to in heavy rotation. So that's how I judge my albums. So for me to say that there's other albums that I listen to, yeah. But those three, I mean, those two albums... And all of Ransom Projects, to me, is what I listen to. I haven't listened to nothing else after I heard it one time or two times. Three times, maybe. At the most. Haven't listened to none, none of the rest of the albums. So when, we, when I do my reviews, my end of the year reviews, you already know who's number one and who's number two. and who's Well, you don't know who's number two and number three, but you know who's number one. Period. I'm just going to give it to you like that. So, with that being said, strong nine, pushing up to a 10. Hey, Ransom, man, I see you. You watch my videos. I appreciate you, brother. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to keep reviewing you. I'm going to keep pumping it out. Also, too, I got to let you know, I'm a battle rapper, and I am inside of a battle rap group in, South, in, in Nigeria, and they're talking about you in there. And, I'm the, and I didn't even say anything about you. Niggas said, well, who's the, who's, who has the best lyrics in the game right now? People po start posting your, your videos. Like, come on, man. In Nigeria? 
Alright, man. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is, man. Oh, man. Ransom.